also love Fred Penner. He's a beloved child entertainer, Juno Award winner, and recipient of the Order of Canada. And today, joins us to chat about honoring the best in Canadian music. Please welcome the incredible Fred Penner. Thank you. Thank you. I have to say, in working here nine years, I have never seen anybody <laughs> receive more love and hugs as you have by the entire cast and crew here at BT. And oh, I know sweet. it transcends to everybody at home who's been writing, and they're so much a part of our lives and their children's lives. Thank you. And you just looked at that footage, and you're like, that's scary. <laughs> well, well, it's because it's such a flashback. This, in fact, uh, is the 30th anniversary of Fred Penner's place. It started in 1985. And, uh, and, and, and the feedback still is coming. People are saying, "Why isn't it on the air? Why did you, why did you stop doing the show?" And it it it, it sort of reached 13 years, and uh, and CBC was ready to do a new tangent, and and uh, and off off they went. But people would still, I think, would still love to see it. It seems. Yeah, but it so resonates. we're going to try and try and bring it back or something. You should. You're putting it out there because it is timeless and it resonates with so many. Hmm. What what? How did this start? Is it true that you used to just make up songs as a little like three four year old Fred? Yeah. Well, music was. Always part of my life. My my parents had classical music and the swing music from that era. My older brother and sister, you know, they're nine and ten years older, had the the early rock stuff. So I I was surrounded by great sound, and my ear was really good. I could hear a sound, and I could I could I felt my brain duplicating it, you know, in harmonies, and you know, so music was in me, oh, and right. uh, and I think th I think that's pretty common with with children generally. You know, they hear the sounds, and it's oh, what's that? Children are sponges, observing and imitating. So you hear the sounds and you try and make that sound, and it, it all sort of fell into place for me at some point. And I know you talk about your sister who has mm -hmm. passed, and she had Down syndrome. Yes. And it was a way to heal and connect with her and inspire. So talk yeah, to us she about was how. Something. Yeah. Well, the, I'm sure many of you listeners, your viewers, have connections with special needs children, mm -hmm. extra needs children, as somebody once pointed out. And uh, and Susie was uh, w would would get so into the music she would listen to the, uh, the 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 soundtrack from west side story and and to the point of tears and just sort of flop down there's such great music there bernstein would flop down and then, and then cry for a while and then she'd get up and be happy but yeah. at, as a teenager seeing her that intensity of music getting inside of her really gave me a sense of oh yeah music is not just la 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 i like it like the sound it's it has the ability to get inside of a human and really make a difference and that's become my sort of my mantra is never underestimate your ability to make a difference in the life of a child and i carry that with me always and as a proud father of four grown children adults yes. <laughs> now what is it like for parents today do you see a shift and a change in how music reaches them because now you have things mm. like youtube where they can call up videos you know maybe they're watching things that are more mature yes, uh, and uh, inappropriate and inappropriate yeah. Right when they're really young, as opposed yeah. to having shows like yours. P parents, I I believe, have to really be res more responsible now than ever, because there is such a diverse range of stuff that's happening there, and some of it, parents, is not appropriate for your kids, and you have to make a decision and say, no, you can't watch that. Here's your bank of of stuff, because because children need to stay children as long as they possibly can. Once they get out into the world, and see the insanity that's going there, they need a, a foundation to work from and that foundation is is love and honesty and courage and respect for the people around them and that can come through the music and often the music does not address that well said and we need to continue to nurture talent like yours which is what you're doing this Monday night mm -hmm. at the Carlo as part of the Polaris Prize nice the past, link did you there. Like that, that was good did you that like was, that Fred? she's good oh, he's, he's good <laughs> and so you know people like Feist Arcade yeah. Fire have been acknowledged in the past but right. what I love is that the jury picks their winners not based on record sales or marketing machines no. behind them but the intent of their music and their exactly. album. Exactly, and 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 the Polaris. I've I've been aware of Polaris over the over these years, and uh, and talked to Steve Jordan, who's the originator of the of the concept, and uh, and and I used a word with him that he was sort of surprised by. I said responsible, and uh, that's the feeling that I get from. From uh, from Polaris, these people are really responsible to the the range of music, the value of the range of music, and so it is about musical diversity. And fifty thousand dollars is not a bad chunk uh, of change nice for chunk a winner. Change. Yeah, I'll say it'll help. Three grand for for the nominees. This is the tenth anniversary. It's it's going to be a fabulous evening, and it's being uh, simulcast or 
played on YouTube. That's on right. Polaris site. And there will be tons of music, <clears throat> including the Toronto Symphony. Orchestra. Exactly. Yeah. And this is the first time they're, they're doing that. And you're doing. We're not allowed to say much, but a very <laughs> as the host, a very special homage to Fred Penner's place. There's there's some things that'll be happening. We had a visit to High Park yesterday, and <gasps> some things evolved from that. Aren't I, there I think logs be... in High Park? What? Mm -hmm. what? I didn't say that. You didn't hear from me. <laughs> Check it out, everybody. The Polaris Gala takes place this Monday, September 21st, at the Carlu. Get your tickets by going to breakfasttelevision.ca. There is a link. Also, polarismusicprize.ca and at Penner Fred to tweet up and continue. Give. Do you check it often? Because people are sending you love I, this morning. I do. Well, yeah. I'm, a, well, I, I'm, I'm bad at the at this social media, but I, I do check it. It's okay. You're kind of busy, Eventually, just filling somewhat. our lives with the joy and beautiful music. <laughs> Thank you so much. Come back. Thank anytime. you, darling. It's Thank a you pleasure for all to be here. Do. Thank you. Right now, we're to Kev in the newsroom. He's our cat that keeps coming back.